For the 2020 general elections, Stan Creek West constituency has the most registered voters. 9,864 electors will have the power on November 11th to select their next area representative. The Stan Creek West division also has the most standard bearers contesting this election, five candidates campaigning in 26 villages across the constituency. On Saturday, we met Rodwell Ferguson, the PUP's standard bearer in Santa Rosa village. Ferguson has served as the air representative of Stank Creek West and is seeking re-election once again. Um, I'm working my villages, it's 26 of them from January, and so I'm now on my second row. So nobody can say, they never say Mr. Ferguson. My best, my best campaign is going house to house. I meet with them, I eat with them, I sit down with them. I stay in their hammock, so I'm feel, I feel very comfortable that I'm going to have a win. But newcomer to electoral politics, Ivan Williams, will not hand over an easy win to Ferguson. The UDP standard bearer says that his work in public service has positioned him for the seat. And my public service experience, working with the people, my years of service, grassroots, connecting with the people, is just a continuation of the level of service that I've provided. All right? And so people embrace me, we have been energized, we are energetic. And I feel very well going into this general elections. People are saying to me, they have not seen their ear representative. It is just now that he's coming out. Okay? And so certainly that is going to play a very important factor. And a man who is no stranger to politics in Belize, former three-time area representative Melvin Hulse is also contesting this division. This time he's running as an independent candidate. Hulse retired from politics seven years ago. So why is he running for political office once again? I got one problem. I can't sit down and watch nothing happening in Stan Creek. I can't. That's not my nature. This is my home. And so the same thing when I retire the first time. I'm a retire, left it. If people do work, I don't care. Both parties have been in. But apparently there's one common denominator. If I'm not in, work stop. They not try to fix street, they not try to fix the, the roads, the farm roads out of hand. They not do nothing. Look at all this flipping money for, for COVID and all the food packages and all the things. Man, go around the village and see how much people. The kind of money they spent already was good enough to, serve, to help 110,000 families. Man, that's the population of Belize. And you the talk, and so way gone. According to these politicians, they can deliver the needs of the people of Stan Creek West. Village people don't need not much. All what they want is their streets properly graded, their drainage in proper shape, keep their village clean, and the cry is house lots because most of them are squatting. There is no documentation. The, the farmers, for example, they're saying, you know, they need the infrastructure so that they can go in and get there and get their plant, their product, and most importantly, get it out. So we have a lot of issues with, with um, farm roads. Okay, and even farmlands. Men, we hear about you and spend a hundred million dollars in caracol, but you can't fix the villages. The poor farmers now they get no help with their seeds. Now they talk about, oh, we are help the farmers, we are getting money from abroad. And so we are give the farmers, oh, what? Close election, I give them five hundred dollars. Wow, for, for years, you're supposed to be helping them with seeds, with plants, with little animals, give them a head start, boy, hey, leaf piglets. When you got some, return it. Help them with leaf calf help the women in the village with either sewing machine to do an industry or help them with chicken so they could raise and, and sell eggs. And this is how you build one country, man, from, from grassroots up. So on November 11th, who will it be for Stun Creek West? In 2015, PUP's Ferguson won by eight votes during a recount, narrowly beating out UDP's Walter Garbutt. This time around, Ferguson says it will be a different story. A confident Williams is already predicting by how many votes he'll win. And for veteran politician Hulse, he just wants the people to vote for him so that he can do the work. The last time was close because the person who came against me was from Independence. Independence is the biggest village in the constituency. Right now I got 2,500 voters. He gave me a run for my, my money, but yet still I was victorious. This time around is going to be different, different, different. I can see that. I believe my margins across the country will be the biggest. So I feel very comfortable that um, as a candidate, the people are going to, this time, we're not going to lose by eight, we're going to win by 800. That's a comfortable yes, part. <laughs> 800, not lose by eight, win by 800. 
Ora tu. Very ambitious. <laughs> I work. There is nothing fancy, nothing political, nothing grand, no lot of flags, no lot of songs, no lot of jump up. That all they want now, now somebody who come and work and fight for them, you know. That the way people, and that is all people supposed to want, expect and demand of an era rep. What I can tell the people in San Quiquez, I have not slowed down, I'm still a workaholic, still love it and still on give battery. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.